Hey, it said got four bars. Shit, we might be out here for a minute. You got anywhere to go? Shit. First question. You good? Right. <laughs> oh, shit, I like it when they bend over for me. Yeah, get that. Yeah, that What's up, homie? Thing. What's up, bruh? Yeah. Hell? Yeah. Anyway, let me see if I'm trying to find a good point to start at. Esau. Esau. Says, first Corinthians 1. 25. Foolishness of God is wiser than men. Oh yeah, the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Cause you know you got all these astrophysicists, all these scientists. They think they're so smart when really they're so stupid. They thought they had figured something out. They figured out like a little something the Most High let them figure out. They don't know all the deepest mysteries. The scientists don't. They they don't know how this shit came into creation. They have theories. You know what I mean? Theories. Believe in science. How's it going, sir? I believe in science. Science means knowledge. It's a Latin word. It means knowledge. So I believe in knowledge. And we have all the knowledge. I'm a scientist. He's a scientist. We're scientists. You know what I mean? We know more about... Because you have a lot of people, you ask them what they believe in. And they say, I, I don't believe in... I, that's bullshit. I, I believe in science. You know what I mean? And then you ask them, like, Break, teach me some science then. And they can't teach you nothing because they're, they're full of shit. They don't know nothing. They can't break down no laws of physics to you. Can't give you no equations. Ain't never conducted an experiment. Got no hypotheses. Got, they don't even got no laboratories or nothing, bro. Talking about it, they believe in science. You know what I mean? Don't know shit about science. Well, we know more about science than all these fools. We, I be studying that shit. Y'all full of shit. Y'all just don't, y'all don't know nothing. Y'all just raised like heathens. Because your parent was a heathen, so now you a heathen. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's so funny? Nice. My parents are heathen. Uh, I don't know. I'm just in the spirit. That's how you see it, man. These people are full of shit. They, they, they claim like they're so knowledgeable. They don't know a goddamn thing. Yeah, motherfucking campus, river way. They don't know basic history. Shit. Bro, they was having a, uh, I watched a video on YouTube, and there's an interview going asking everybody if we should bomb North Korea. And they was like, yeah, bomb the hell out of them. And then he asked them to show where North Korea is on the map. None of them can find it on a map. North Korea? I bet you most people can't even find Ohio on a map. That's how stupid they are. You can't find America. You can't find America. Romero, I don't know. Is it all this one? Point to Australia. People are dumb, man. They're really stupid. But that's good, though. That's, that's the most high made them stupid. It was the most high's will that everybody would be this stupid. It's all part of the plan. Like, you know, like, some people can't get it. It's like, why? I can't live in a world with so many stupid people. It's like, I'd rather commit suicide than live in this shit. But you got to understand, it was the Lord who made everybody stupid. You know what I mean? It's all part, it's part of that, the plan. Cause it said the Lord gave him up to the spirit of slumber, right? I'm gonna get that. I think that's Romans 11, ain't it? Oh, what you got? I haven't got it yet. Oh, oh let me see if I can find it. I don't want to fail on it yet. Yeah. Got wisdom, knowledge, understanding, nothing. And check this out. Even the word wisdom. Wisdom, when you break the word wisdom down, it comes from two words. First is wise, to be wise, right? But what does dom mean? That means dominant. You know what I mean? It's like, it comes from the Latin word dominus, uh, which means God. To be totally dominant, to have a dominion, that, that goes back to the Latin word for God. So even wisdom is dealing with the most high, the word wisdom, when you look it up, when you go into it. That's why, like, give an example like what's the name for Sunday in uh, Spanish it's Domingo right because Domingo that comes from the word God 
Yeah, that's supposed to be God's day, Sunday. In America, yeah, we call it Sunday because we're we come from that fucking Viking pagan worshiping culture. Who is it? I thought you knew the recognized number. What number is it? Nine, eight, nine. I don't know yet. Was I about to read Romans 11? All right, uh, yeah. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel hath not obtaineth that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So he said only the election obtained it. I mean, we searching for the mysteries, searching for the truth. So this tells you that the hell with all of Israel. Two thirds of Israel is going to be destroyed. See, this truth is not for everybody. So. And, that, and that's why you see everybody so stupid out here. I mean, the, the scriptures tell you everything. It reveals all the mysteries. But if you ever wonder why, why is everybody so stupid? This is why. Because the Lord made it this way. Because it said on the election attainment, and the elect is a small number. Uh, what then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. It said the rest were blinded. And these fools is blind. They walk around in pure darkness. Like they don't know what the hell is going on. You know what I mean? They ain't got a clue. They just totally clues. Don't know nothing about history. Like they said, they don't know no science. Don't know mat no mathematics, no nothing. And definitely don't know no scripture. They just totally void of any knowledge, wisdom, or understanding. They got they definitely don't know the commandments. They have a bunch of adulterers, adulteresses, whores, harlots, homosexuals. homosexuals, fucking weirdos, freaks. They're beyond backwards. Yeah. Let me read the rest of this. According as it is written, the Most High had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, let, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow their back always. And you can see that's why everybody is so dumb and so retarded. And the Most High just blacking their eye. He just said, nope, you ain't getting it. It's not for you. He cut you off. So like most of these people aren't even real people. You know what I mean? They just, they just like sh sh shells of a people. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not free. They part of the goddamn matrix and shit. They just zombies, bro. Just walk and talk as zombies. They ain't got a clue, man. Hey, you can see the spirit out here too. These people are dumb. You just look in their eyes, you can just see just a look of stupidity. They just be like, turds. <laughs> I know it died down, didn't it? It was jumping. Hey, it's fun coming out here, though. But it's fun seeing all the stupid people. But really, I, I, I feel sorry for you all, though. Okay, y'all gonna be destroyed, you know what I mean? Watch your boy Esau. He looks like he just came out just from eating a bowl of red pottage. Yeah, there's some weirdos out here. It's the place to be for weirdos. Uh, you want go ahead, you said you was about to read something? Yeah, First Griffins one. It says 25, because the foolishness of God is wiser than man, and the weakness of God is stronger than man. It yeah, says, the weakness of the most high is stronger than man. Because you know men are prideful. They think they got some kind of power. 
You see, they got some kind of strength. They got no strength. So all men die, you know what I mean? What kind of strength is that? Go ahead. It says, because the foolish... Oh, sorry, I read that. It says, for ye shall see your calling brethren, as that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble or core, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Right, he calls the foolish things of the world, what do they call us fools? We look crazy, we all wearing them crazy looking clothes, people laughing at us. But the Lord used us to confound y'all, because anybody come up and try to debate us or whatever, we, you're going to get laughed at. You get laughed out the room. You know what I mean? You get destroyed. That, that, no. Right, if you, if you got the audacity to come up here and try to debate what we're saying, yeah, if you, you'll get, we'll mop the floor with you. Bro, we sling you around like a wet noodle, like, pop, pop. <laughs> You know what probably, I mean? Probably how much you outside. I guess you know. Because, hey, what's that? Two, three, got her. Yeah, yeah, right. Because that's what, that's the spirit of the Lord doing it. It's not even us doing it. Hey, what do you say? I, 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 was, I he said, don't don't meditate what you say. The yeah. Father can say, he's going to give you words. To say. He always gives you the words. Every time we talk to people, he gives us the right words and we just sh shut shit down. You're like, have a seat, son. Have that seat. We be passing out seats through the spirit of the Lord. Can't nobody deal with this, bro. And that's why I say he uses the foolish to confound the wise. Like right, we up here at Ohio State University, can't no scholars, no professors deal with this when it comes to history and the scriptures. They can't deal with it. The professor, but your professor you don't know shit. That's why he's a professor. What's up, bro? Said, uh, and God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world would not consider this base. Yeah, lowly. The we the lowly, like we the poor of the earth, the scum yeah, of the uh, earth. Hey, you, you, the, uh, you the mighty, uh, what do you call it? Hold on, let me read it. You the rich man of the earth. We the base man of the earth. That's the spirit. You the stupid, the base man of the earth. Like we are, uh, like, we like filth. We're like, we like bums and you like a proper man. A real man of the Lord. Do you think that? Here and there. Oh, sorry. Say that again. Oh, Lord. I said, do you think really like bums and, you know, forsaken cast outs and you think you really like a... Yeah, who got a better shirt, me or you? Who has a better shirt? Well, Guess me. This is what I got you beat by a mile, a long mile. This is so fresh. So fresh. You wish you had something like that. Okay. What you wish you were a Mormon? Oh, no, I'm actually a Catholic. Oh, cool. So, so you know about First Corinthians? What? One, about First Corinthians one. Okay. Uh, you read it for it. Okay. It says, it says, and base things of the world to. Uh, oh, it would be like live as a poor man instead of a rich man or something. Oh. Never mind. Yeah. It says, it says the things which are despised, God have chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are. So you a Catholic? So you call the Pope the Holy Father? I I do. I don't do that. Oh no. No, that's, I, I know that's not. You celebrate Christmas, though, don't you? I mean, so it doesn't really matter what day Jesus' birth was on, but we should celebrate his birth and but, give it, like... You know, Christmas, though, We everybody knows the history of Christmas. Right, it's the... Uh, that's an ancient... Summer, that's summer, ancient, summer solstice. What it was, well, not the summer solstice. It's pretty close to it. That's what it celebrated. You mean the winter solstice? Winter solstice, that's right. Yeah, uh, a little cold in December. Right. But that's, yeah, that's a, that's a paganism. That's worshiping of, uh, yeah. Yeah. And that is... The Romans held Saturnalia. They worshiped Saturn. The Canaanites worshiped Baal on that day. So that's devil worship. The Catholic Church, that, look at all the, the Catholic priests are all pedophiles. The, the, the second in command right now, the Pope is a pedophile. How could you be part of such a place? It should be a shame to I mean, Should we not all forgive each every man for Even the pedophiles? Lord? Yeah, the Lord forgave everybody. Forgive. Not so seven the, times, but 77 oh, yeah, times. Seven that's times. pretty good. Yeah, but he said, he said, he, supposed to rebuke your brother and if he don't repent then you know let him be as a heathen or publican. Yeah you raping children you gotta get put to death for that one. The scripture says we gotta be hey, the slain of the Lord. That's the church made. the main church the biggest church in the world bro. Don't, don't you believe in the second coming? Yeah. And that's why they don't let priests marry women, uh, women either. Because in the scriptures Peter had a wife he was the head disciple he had a wife. Okay. The Catholics see that's because they're homosexual. They, it's, it's part of their witchcraft. They say Peter was the first pope. Didn't they say that? Yeah, they. Tell me that, yeah. But but he, was, he had a 
white wife. But I got back to the point. He says, I said, you believe the same coming? He said, yes. So when the Lord comes back, what do you think he's going to do? Change the world. He's going to tread the wine press. Like the book of Revelation, he's going to tread the wine press. All the whoremongers, the heat, let's get that. Yeah, he's going to destroy. There's going to be a lot of death. When yeah, the Lord comes back, there's going to be a lot of death and destruction. About three-fourths of the world, the horse moves all right. There's going to be some death. It's not, not going to be a happy, fun day. Just I see you try to make the exit. If you <laughs> kind of do. If you want to make the exit, you can make the exit. Like everyone wants to get free. That's one more. That's one more. That's all I got. And then you can go ahead. It's too much for him. Yeah. He's going to have nightmares tonight now. No, no. That's not nightmares. It's Amos okay, 5. Okay, you'll see. Oh, Astro projected to your dreams. How do you like that? <laughs> it's Amos right. 5. Amos 5 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And if a man did flee from a lion, the bear met him and went into the house and leaned uh, his hand on the wall, and the serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Right, even there's buried. no escaping it. You thought you got, oh, we got around the corner, I escaped the cannibals. Oh, shit, now you're around it, there's two tigers, you know what I mean? There's going to be cannibalism out here. It's going to get ugly. Before, hey, keep going, read the rest of that. It says... Because there's going to be a lot of ca death, chaos, cannibalism, the economic collapse, starvation, famine, pestilence. Yeah, the horsemen, the crowns, it's already, the balance, and the sight. Then the chariot on top is going to be the missiles. Go ahead. The chariots, too. It's even very yep, dark. The chariots. And no brightness in it. Yeah, so the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. It's very dark with no brightness in it. Just meditate on that one. Yes, sir. Go ask your Catholic priest about that one. How many? How about that? That guy was strange. Yeah. What's up, man? What are you looking at? Oh, you want to have my babies? Shit. Sure. That's the only thing I can teach an Israelite woman, I guess. I'm going to read that book of Titus. Boy, it's like a... Yeah, man, see, when the heathens, they just throw the spirit off. We was into something. He came up. Look all derped out. They just messed up the spirit. What, what was we reading before that? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful evening. What's up, homie? Everybody eyeballing us, bro. Like, they'll, like, they'll, like, they'll, like, they'll, they'll me mug you. I'm like, hey, what's up? I mean, they never just, not even, like, you staring at me, bro. You can't at least say what's up back. Just mugging the hell out of them. I was in the military, they would have slapped you if you stared at somebody like that. First Corinthians 1 and 29. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Hey, hold up, man. Not that shit. Go ahead. It says that no flesh shall glory in his presence, but of him are ye and y'all shy. Who of God has made unto us wisdom, righteousness, and sanctification. Right, you see, and there's no glorying in the flesh. We ain't out here glorying like we we the greatest super duper Israelites. We had all the fringes. Our garments were perfect. We kept the law perfect. Like, I, you're, you've done committed more sins than me. You know what I mean? You out here trying to compare yourself. I'm better than this guy. Look, he's a fucking piece of shit. Look at me. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got guys like that. They think, oh, they... Even if they caught you on something, some fucked up shit you did. Like, oh, I'm better than you. You know what I mean? No. Nope. The scriptures even say that, uh... Well, read that again. They said no glory. You, you can't glory in the flesh. Because you ain't getting saved by your works and how righteous you was. Because at the end of the day, ain't none of us righteous. We ain't none of us keeping our law perfect the way we was commanded to keep it. You know what I mean? We, we try to keep... We ain't, you want to see us eat no pork. It ain't gonna happen. You ain't gonna see me shave my beard off. That ain't gonna happen. Why, how come I have a beard? Because the law says keep a beard, but I'm not bragging about it. Look, 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 
Look at your weak ass beard compared to my, you know what I mean? Your weak ass shits, man. It's like, oh, you know he trimming his beard. You can see he trimming it all. Oh. Yeah, brother, people always try to get people on that little bullshit, you know what I mean? Trimming it. Huh? Yeah, they're not trimming it, dude. We're not trimming it, my bad. I'm oh, no, you can trim it. My bad, my bad. Not trimming. You think it's something new? You think about that. Think about that. Well, I'm just thinking, if there's something. Line yeah, oh, edge ups. Well, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, you ain't supposed to get edge ups. But some brothers do it anyway. What you, what you gonna do? And not only that, but like some brothers, they, they try to get too deep to be over righteous. You know what I mean? Like the Sabbath thing. It's like, they see you driving on the Sabbath or, like, you can't use the lights. Turn the lights off. It's like, Huh? Call off a day. Yeah, it ain't calling off work. I mean, well, you shouldn't work on the Sabbath if you don't. If you, if you can get out of it, that's good. But you ain't getting saved because you kept every Sabbath perfectly. That ain't that ain't saving nobody. How's that saving? The Lord's the one that's gonna save you, not the Sabbath. When when the Lord come out of the sky in the chariots, that's what's gonna save you. The Sabbath ain't coming out in no chariot. You know what I mean? Because yeah, the, exactly. the scripture said that the Sabbath was made for the man, not the man for the Sabbath. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah fringes coming out the sky <laughs> yeah. to beam you up. Yeah, because yeah, you got guys saying if you don't wear fringes in your everyday life, you're not going to get saved. Yeah. Man, how stupid is that? That who is teaching that one body? An IUIC teacher, too. Faggots. Dude, we, I, we had Israelites seeing us out here on the streets, and they, we was wearing our regular clothes. The street clothes, and they was like, "How come y'all ain't wearing fringes?" Like, damn. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all. That's all you gotta say. That's all fringes. You gotta say. And then you start talking to that guy. He don't know no history. He, he can't give you no dates, no historical dates. Can't name you the the kings of Israel. The name of the Lord. They can't. They, they don't. Definitely don't know the name of the Lord. Uh, uh, who knows? Man, they got no. It's always them guys that don't know nothing. They just know the basic scriptures. They know the Israelite 101 scriptures. You know the little, the Israelite starter kit scriptures. That's all they know. Yeah. They know a handful of scriptures. That's the same guys that getting on you because you ain't wearing fringes. But we not. So we not trying to let people know what we do in our everyday life. I ain't go go to work wearing fringes. Everybody looking at you like you're crazy. And then the bosses be like, I'm gonna have to have a talk with you. And they might just come up with an excuse to fire your ass. You one of the motherfuckers on the street corner. Yeah, you that you know, motherfucker. Yeah, you know, you never know, you never know. You know your boss in the video. You know, the team that's on the street cussing out black men or something. Because we're like superheroes. We got secret identities. You know, I, you know what I mean? We have secret identities. Our, our secret identity, that's our, we use our name. We don't go, go to work. I'm going to tell my boss, what's your name? I'm going to be like, ah, hurrah, Oh, really? He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you gotta go, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's not, y'all ain't smart, bro. The scriptures say you gotta be smart, a wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. So yeah, we superheroes, we got secret identities. And you notice too, we'll be out here teaching, got the garments on, but for some reason, people won't recognize us. Won't, won't wear in everyday life. You see the same person you saw teaching, but they won't even recognize you half the time. Sometimes it will. But a lot of times they won't. Yeah, you know what I mean? These people are dumb. It's talking about you get saved by keeping the law. You don't get saved by keeping the law. You got, uh, what was you reading? Oh yeah, that's that Corinthians. It says that no flesh of glory in his presence. But if him, are you in your house shy? Who of God is made unto wisdom, and to us wisdom, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. That according as written, he that glorieth, let him glory. Damn it, fucking Satan. I gotta try to whistle or something, get ready. They're gonna copyright strike. Damn, fucking wind blew. Damn, I went to, I went to the fucking Romans. Romans uh, so. that's, that's, that's Satan right there. I know, they stay there too long, our video get taken down for that. It happens all the time. I remember that one time, body sh we used to have somebody playing some Bobby Schmurder in our video. Our video got copyright. I put a curse on 
Bobby's smarter because our video got deleted. Hey, he's locked up now. He got locked up. I don't know who the hell Bobby Smarter was. Hey, he's who right there, boy. Go ahead with that. That's a distracting out here. There's a lot of women out here. It's very distracting. It says that according as written, he that glorieth, let him glory of the Lord. Oh, yeah, he that glory. Kid. You ain't supposed to have to be glorying about yourself. Be like, man, I know more scriptures than all y'all. Talking about with y'all. Yeah, we, oh, yeah, I got my college degree. Y'all dumbass bitches. Lord bless me. See, I got a lot of money. That's yeah, the Lord know. bless me. You see, the Lord dealing with me, that's why I got more women than you. And why I got, I've heard people say that. Because you got a lot of these wicked Israelites, they'll use that. Because they some dudes get a lot of women. Drug dealers get a lot of women. It's usually the grimiest people who get the most women. You saw good women. Because these women grimy, bro. Grime attracts grime. Just because something looks beautiful doesn't mean it's beautiful. These bitches are fucking, fucking maggots and rats and roaches, bro. That's the time. They're way, I mean, you, right. So if you if you get a lot of women, that just means filth attracts filth. You know what I mean? But I've actually heard some Israelite teachers say that, like, the reason I got more women than everybody else because I keep the commandments better than y'all. They'll say stuff like that. That's some. Bu that's not true. That's some bullshit. Cause it'd be a blessing to the Lord. Uh, don't give you one of these nasty ass bitches, bro. You, a, a woman that you could been drooling over, you was in love with, had a crush on, but you never got with her. But you could come to find out that she had herpes, warts, AIDS. She got a man. She she actually got a penis. <laughs> that's worst case scenario, but hey, that's possible. I'm just saying, but the Lord protects you. They, because I, I had a demon that was with me. You know what I mean? My baby's mama, she's a demon. I praise you. How about some how excited? I am not with her no more, no longer. You know what I mean? Now I'm a free man. I'm free. Because really, in this in this society, you ain't got no woman. You just got your turn with a bitch. That's disgusting to say that. I mean, you should try. If you have sex with a woman, you should try to stay with her and not leave her. That's not possible. I was just saying, don't be too overly optimistic and naive about it. You'd be all heartbroken when your woman leaves you because you're, you're teaching a Bible. I'm talking about Israel. She's going to leave you. That's why you, it's not even a good thing to even be telling your a, a woman all your business. I, I, any women I deal with, I don't be telling them, hey, I'm going on the streets teaching tonight, baby. I'll be right back. Like, bitch, I, I'm like, I got a meeting to go to. Uh, I'm going to go hang out with, go play some video games with my friends. You know what I mean? I just make some stuff up. I'm not telling I'm going to go teach the Bible. You must be out your fucking mind. So people don't know how to use sense, man. They ain't got no, ba no balance, no judgment. Uh, what was we going? You need more of that Corinthians? That was it. That was the spirit we was going on the uh, the mercy and the or the yeah. You gotta be merciful. Like we was going into the thing about you can't be boasting about the flesh. I think I was gonna get that. In, uh, I think it's Second Corinthians. Actually, I want to read some Second Corinthians. Here, Jake, say y'all Israelites. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Hell yeah. Y'all won't show no love, but that's fucked up. You know what yeah. Oh, well, what you gonna do? They ain't worried about us. Fuck it, it's Mark. It's not for them right now. Yeah. I don't know. I was singing it in scripture, but I'm not sure where it's at. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of them. Just going into the uh, the flesh and the law and all that. But there's a couple. I can't think which one I want. What's up, baby? What's good? She's nice right there. She's a pretty little thing. Oh, you gotta troll him. 
I'll take it. I'll take any of this. There's a. This is a. The Lord said, "I demand sacrifice." How's it go? How's it go? Check. No, I desire mercy. Why? Well, that's where to go. Huh? Uh, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, or sacrifice, not mercy. We're in those two. Look it up. You know where it's at? I don't know the wording. I needed to just look it up. <laughs>